What's going on guys? Noah White here again. Thanks for stopping by yet again. In today's video, we finally get to go to the dyno. Uh, I set this up probably about a month ago, but you know, the dyno is pretty busy to rent. So I am going to be tuning the car myself. I'm just renting the dyno. Uh, there's just a spot local to me, so that's helpful for me. I don't have to really drive too far. In case you guys don't know what it is, um, it is a 2002 Lexus IS300. It has a full CX Racing Turbo kit on it. Um, the turbo that came with the kit did fail, so I am running uh, just an aftermarket turbo, kind of like eBay special. It's a 6266 size turbo. It has a .70 AR or back housing. So I'm only running five pounds of boost right now. I'm gonna see how much fuel I have. I think the limiting, limiting factor for me today on the dyno will, will be fuel. I am running slightly bigger than stock injectors, just some uh, plug and play 7MGE 7, 7 old Supra style injectors. I think they're only like 315 cc's, something around there. Um, I do have a, a Dietchworks DW300 fuel pump, so I know I have enough fuel pump. I just, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna have enough injector. I don't know how much more past five PSI I can push it. On the street, I actually have ran up to nine PSI and that was about the ragged edge of the injectors. So I know I won't be hitting that, but we'll just see, have to see when I get there. But I am running that full kit. The car is running on an ECU Masters EMU Black standalone, so it is an automatic. I have a stock exhaust, so the stock Lexus catback exhaust. So it's basically three inch downpipe, there's a three inch midsection, and then it gets choked down to like a 2.3 inch or whatever, I don't know what millimeters it is. It's smaller than two and a half inch catback, so that's definitely also going to play into how much power the car is gonna make. So, I don't know, if you guys have any predictions, leave them in the comment section down below. And um, I'll probably just see you here when I get to the dyno. I will say when I get to the dyno, he is gonna allow me to record on like a tripod. So I don't know if you're really gonna see or hear me much talking after I make a pool. I may just make all the pools and then, you know, just put the numbers that I get, you know, on maybe on the lower left side of the screen or so, but I'll try my best to talk to you guys as we go through it. But again, I am renting the dyno and there is a schedule. So I'm the first on the schedule today. So I'm gonna try and just kind of knock it out and get what I can get. I would love, on five pounds of boost, my buddy, one of my buddies seems to think this thing is gonna make a tremendous amount of power. I am at sea level, so that does help help me. Um, it is about 55 degrees outside today, so the DA is probably gonna be you know, pretty good. However, obviously I'm not driving the car, so there's a difference between being on the road and being on the dyno with the simulated airflow from a big fan. So we'll see. Hopefully the intake air temperatures um, can stay pretty low. And um, I don't know, I'm. On five pounds, I would hope that this thing makes close to 250 wheel horsepower. That would be awesome. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm just gonna see what it's gonna do. Uh, there are a lot of factors that are working against me. Mainly it's that exhaust and the fuel or the injectors that are gonna limit me. So I'm gonna start at five pounds, probably work my, up to, work, work my way up to seven pounds if I can get it. And then maybe eight or nine pounds if the fueling will allow it. But I don't know, we'll just see when we get there. So stay tuned. See you guys at the dyno.
Man, that was a pretty good experience. The tuner was actually there. He was controlling the dyno, but as I said, I was gonna be the one tuning it. So as you can see, five pounds of boost, the max I made at five pounds of boost was 237 wheel horsepower. Uh, when I turned it up to, I don't think it made quite seven pounds. I think it made just shy of seven pounds. It went to 250. And then on eight pounds of boost, I made 200, and I think it was almost 271 wheel horsepower. So uh, the tuner was actually pretty impressed at how far these 315 TC injectors were able to get me. Um, that's probably around, I don't know, about 95% in, uh, injector duty cycle when I was at the eight, pan, eight PSI. So. Um, he said that's about good where to leave it and that's kind of where I was what I was thinking I'm probably actually going to turn it back down and maybe run it around seven pounds and it should be fine uh, Obviously, there's some power left on the table being an automatic and having the stock cat back uh, He thinks the number could be around maybe 290 ish maybe up there, but um, I'm still happy with it and uh, I was going in there thinking that this thing was going to make around 200 and 35 ish wheel horsepower on five pounds, which is exactly pretty much what it did. So I do want to go back. I do need to Make a few upgrades before I go back there, but really I really just want to get back to the racetrack see what it does um, On the same five pounds that I had the FIC on because I still haven't been able to run it because the tracks have been closed So hopefully they open them up soon and uh, the winter season um, I don't know when they I don't know when they deem it's safe to go back, but whenever they do I'll definitely go back to the track and try and see what I can run on five pounds But um, overall I had no issues, which I'm happy no leaks nothing at all uh, It performed pretty well, so Definitely going over it before I went to the dyno helped out a lot and um, yeah, I'm pretty excited uh, Of course, they're not big huge numbers like everyone's probably expecting it to make uh, I believe mainline dynos are you know known as heartbreakers I don't think they read as high as maybe a dyno jet so you know there's a chance it could read a little bit higher but like I said stock catback exhaust and um, being an automatic is kind of sap sapping some of the power but um, overall I'm, I'm happy with that I'm I couldn't I mean I'm making probably probably making a little over 100 extra wheel horsepower than a stock IS 300 would make and uh, it definitely feels plenty quick. So Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'm definitely this is not this is not the end of this car Obviously, I'm gonna keep working on it. I'm gonna keep improving it. I would love to make it a manual and uh, just manual uh, bigger injectors and uh, you know a correct exhaust and I want to definitely go back and see what I can make so but that's how it stands for now APSI is a max I could hit well that I can hit with the fuel about 271 wheel horsepower with that and um, I think this car weighs around 3200 ish pounds or somewhere around that so at that number I would think if I can get it down track it should run a I don't know should run a low 13 maybe like a 13 one something like that if I had to guess could even hit a 13 0 if I had a drag radial on it but um, I don't know we'll see when we get there but until then I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.